Biker Babe Beth here on another cold Ohio morning. We are heading to the Mansfield prison today, but first things first, my GoPro audio didn't record, so I'm doing a voiceover right now. A little awkward, but we'll make it work. We are waiting for some Ohio guy to meet up with us. He's going to ride along and take some pictures of us. Getting some air in the tires right now, so we should be good to go in just a moment. And here he is. All right, let's head to the prison. We have a long ride up 71. We met Clint, some Ohio guy, Clint is his name, about halfway. And now we have about, I don't know, 45 minutes up 71 North here. And it was cold. I mean, it was 41 to 48 degrees that day. 48 was the high, but whew, when we got onto the highway and we're going 70 miles an hour, that wind chill. So I had a lot of layers under a witch dress that I was wearing for photos that we were going to do at the prison, which I was really excited for. Had my uh, leather jacket and my neck gaiter too that you guys saw. Definitely bundled up to try and stay warm because it was cold. I don't want to be a fair weather rider, so I got out there, put on my big girl pants, and went about 70, 80 miles an hour the whole way, and we were freezing by the time we got there, that's for sure. But it was a nice ride. It was pretty, pretty fall colors. Awesome, guys. Here's the Mansfield Reformatory Prison. It is so awesome. It's big and beautiful. It's a limestone building, and it was built in 1896, and it took about 10 years to build. Then, once it was built, it was a maximum security prison. The conditions at one point became so terrible in the 80s that the prisoners sued the state of Ohio, and they won. And so they built a new prison behind this prison. And in some windows, you can actually see that prison and they'll have signs like no photography from this window. Absolutely no photography. So you can see the new prison, the new Mansfield prison from the old Mansfield prison. The prison closed in the 90s after they had the new one built. And it was purchased from some folks who wanted to restore it for a whole dollar. So I'm really glad that they were able to buy it for a whopping dollar and restore it and keep it the way that it is and show it to the public. I think it's pretty awesome that they have this place here for people to visit and I'm just really thankful that we were able to have Clint, some Ohio guy, come along with us to be able to take some awesome photos of me dressed up all silly which you guys will see here in a minute. I had so much fun running around being a witch. If you follow my Instagram, which is also Biker Babe Beth, I will have a bunch of photos on there. I've been slowly posting them, so. But once I post this video, I'll post a bunch of photos on there. So look out for that. I can't wait to show you guys the inside of this creepy prison. It is so cool on the inside so much to explore. I had so much footage. I feel like I had to pick and choose what to show you. It was just so much fun. Thanks for coming along. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning friends, thank you so much. If you could give my channel a subscribe real quick and like this video, please. Comment down below too. I forgot my GoPro was running right here, so... I'm grabbing my helmet and I realize, oh, my GoPro is still on. <laughs> oh, see you guys inside the prison. All right, guys, we made it to Mansfield Prison. They made us park in the grass, lame. Oh, well. But here's that big, beautiful prison. We're gonna go play around inside, see what kind of pictures we can get. Why is my GoPro being evil? Could be an evil. This prison is absolutely awesome. If you guys are from Ohio and you haven't been here, it is so cool and it's massive and they let you do self-guided tours, but they're also doing the hell prison haunted house thing at night too. So I've only been to that once and it was terrifying. Never doing it again. 
All right. So I decided that I need an outfit to fit my Halloween themed adventures. Now we're getting to the creepy part of this place, everybody, and I love it. Yes, creepy. I even wore witch themed makeup. Shh. I love exploring this building. Yeah, it reminds me of the ridges in Athens, Ohio. Abandoned insane asylum, but now it's not abandoned. They're building dorms in it. Who wants a dorm in an abandoned insane asylum? Not this girl. Hell no. Since this is a spooky themed YouTube, I found the cord that I'll use to hang myself. <laughs> Ignore me, I'm just... Trigger warning. <laughs> up into the chapel, which is even creepier. Yep. Into the chapel, the stairwell goes. Going into the creepy, creepy chapel. You can see my witch hat. <laughs> I'm doing the exact same thing. Yeah, smart, smart. Chapel is so cool. It gets cold in the door. Look how thick and solid. A stairwell to a place you're not allowed to go to with a handprint. But then you come up into this chapel. Look at this place, guys. I feel like I have to talk, feel like have to talk quietly in here. It's echoes. to the jail cells now, so. 
this is where I think if it's haunted, it's really haunted for you. Like, what's it? Yeah, see, this is the corridors where on, what is it, Ghost Hunters, they saw a creepy little hooded figure creep up and back. And I believe that that actually happened. This place is super, super scary. And I believe it's haunted. But I believe in ghosts. Some of y'all probably don't. So creepy. People lived here, man. Er Ever. I'm officially a prisoner in the Mansfield Reformatorium. This is the size of a cell, y'all. It's tiny. And I'm getting claustrophobic being locked in here. Let me out. Let me out. Those are heavy ass doors, too. Why are random lights going on and off like that? I don't know if you guys knew this, but in prison they serve you Starbucks too. Come on, Marissa, do better. Well, you almost <laughs> broke that by sitting on it. That's hilarious. There's no chain on that side. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit down on that <laughs> Silent Hill vibes if I've ever gotten any. Ooh, this place is mega creepy. I have high hopes I'll capture a ghost on camera today, but I doubt it. There's one. doing his thing. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Yeah, it goes up really far. Who knows how far it goes? Hello! <laughs> Finally, put the fiance where he belongs. Hey Jeff, say hi. What's up? How's prison treating you? How's the roomie? Dead? Oh, I knew it. I knew he was dead.
Uh, no, I think she's dead. So we're now in the solitary confinement area of the prison. Alrighty guys, heading out after having so much fun exploring that place. I'm about to head out. Clint and Jeff are heading with me and we are going to an abandoned community center that we passed to set off some smoke bombs. Cause uh, we were gonna do some smoke bomb photography here, but I don't know, there was too many people, it was too busy. We were worried that we would, you know, scare the staff or something so we decided that we were not gonna set off the smoke bombs here at the prison i did not put all my layers back on i just rode my dress and my stockings and boots back to this little community center because it was just right down the road the awesome shots that we got at this community center speak for themselves like i said i will be posting some of this stuff to instagram i'm super excited to show it off because clint some Ohio guy, he's an amazing photographer and he did a really great job. So let's head on over to that abandoned community center and check it on out. It is relatively creepy. Honestly, we passed it on the way in. It was just on some side road, some curvy, pretty fall side road. So we decided, okay, why not go back to that place and take some smoke bomb shots there where we won't bother anybody really by setting off these kind of theatrical smoke bombs that some Ohio guy normally does in his shots. If you have not checked out his page, some Ohio guy, all of his videos are so awesome. He goes to a very cool spot locally and takes really nice shots of his bike and himself. And usually he sets off smoke bombs too, which gives a really cool effect. So you should check out his videos really quick. Link it up top here. He's an awesome guy. We had a lot of fun doing this shoot. I think we had a ton of fun in the prison too, but these shots on my motorcycle turned out so awesome, guys. Seriously. I'll post a few to my Instagram, like I said. You should really check it out. But I'll also link, you know, a little video here of me playing around so you guys can get an idea of the vibes that were there because when we pulled in, there were hundreds of crows in the sky. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but like, seriously, there, I wish I was recording then because you probably would have heard it. There were so many crows everywhere in the sky flying over. It was like really creepy to be completely honest. So, you know, it added to the creepy effect of the abandoned community center that we ended up taking these smoke bomb shots at. So here you go. Check it out. guys we're pulling out getting ready to head on out Jeff and Clint are getting their stuff together and I just need to put my gloves on and I'm ready to go so yeah we had such a great time here at this community center once again huge shout out to some Ohio guy for taking these shots here at the creepy abandoned community center they turned out so cool so we got about an hour and a half ride home and I don't know, with the fast speeds on the way here, we got chilled to our bones on the highway. So we decided, you know, we're going to take some back roads home. I think that way we won't freeze to death, go a little bit slower, that's fine, that'll take some time, maybe it'll be a little bit of a prettier ride for us. 
my phone was about to die, so we have Jeff leading me on the way home. Which was totally fine. I like having Jeffrey, my fiancé, lead, but usually he prefers me leading, which is probably the best. I understand it. Surprisingly, there's a lot of beautiful old architecture through the downtown area. Also, uh, a lot of railroad tracks, so <laughs> you, you get to see me bonking through those because my light bike and my lightness makes it so whenever I go over railroad tracks, it just knocks me, knocks me around. But as we come into Mansfield, we're welcomed by this beautiful big tower off to our right. Which I thought was pretty cool. Most certainly the coolest part was going through downtown Mansfield on the ride home. But also, I'm super thankful that these guys came along with me and helped me out. There was no way that I would have been able to capture all the footage and get cool photos like I did. Jeff helped carry all my stuff. Clint, some Ohio guy, took amazing photos. Yeah. I can't thank them both enough for coming along with me because this adventure would have been so much more difficult on my own. Gah! Look at all these old buildings! I love this area of this city so much. I'm such a sucker for old and beautiful things, especially motorcycles. But also, I really enjoy old buildings a ton. I like to go look at old abandoned buildings especially so the creepier and the older they are the more I love them I also really like old signs like neon signs here on the left and Mansfield just had a lot of really cool vibes with the old brick buildings that we were passing through so I really enjoyed cruising through Mansfield even if it was a short little pass by Sometime I need to stop in and actually check out the city because it is pretty, pretty awesome. Once we got through Mansfield, noticed we were passing a huge body of water and I had no idea what it was and we come to realize that there is a giant reservoir right outside of the city of Mansfield. So that was really beautiful with the fall trees seeing on the water all the different fall colors. I know my GoPro doesn't capture nearly the same amount of beauty that I'm seeing as I'm riding, but holy moly, it was so beautiful. There would have been a lot of beautiful nature photo opportunities over there. There's always such cool little side roads at places like that, so check out your local reservoirs, people. If you have a motorcycle you wanna take photographs with, that's always a great place to find photo opportunities. The fall colors on the ride home were just so beautiful and it was also really awesome because we saw a freaking bald eagle on the side of the road fly off. I wasn't recording at the time unfortunately but that also makes for an epic ride home. When you see a bald eagle, that's so American. Yes! So it was a beautiful fall ride home and we really enjoyed ourselves even though it was still freaking cold and we had to just push through and get home we rode a little slower doing the back road thing which was probably a good idea because whew, i was freezing on the way there and i was freezing on the way home but just a little less because we had a little less wind chill on us which I was thankful for. But wow, all these beautiful fall colors. Holy crap. I definitely enjoyed this ride home, guys. It was so pretty. Once again, guys, thank you, thank you so much for watching my video. I had so much fun creating this Mansfield Prison Tour for you. I also may have went a tad overboard being a witch, but that's just kind of my personality. I tend to go a tad overboard when I do stuff, especially when it comes to Halloween. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my Halloween spooktacular episode at the Mansfield Prison. 
if you could go ahead and give me a like on this video comment down below what you thought about the prison do you think it's haunted like i do or do you just like not believe in ghosts like my fiance who cannot be convinced that they exist so definitely the opposite on that but <laughs> let me know what you think down below because i'm interested do you believe in ghosts i don't know am i a nerd yeah probably and if you have not subscribed yet subscribe please thank you i appreciate it I really do appreciate every single subscription that I get. Thank you so much, guys. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace.